What's going on, fellow YouTubers? I dig a grave here, bringing you finally some more Black Ops commentary. Sorry it's been so long since my last video. I was on a business trip. Uh, I just got back last night, uh, so I really couldn't do uh, bring you guys any videos or even even just comment on a comment or a message you sent me. So sorry about that. I should be bringing you guys a, a video every uh, couple of days now. I don't plan on going on any more business trips but heh, you never know they pop up all the time so uh basically my job is when you get called out to go do something you basically like have like a day notice so i, I do apologize for not having a video guys a uh, video guys a uh, video up for you guys uh in a while so this uh game if you haven't noticed is search and destroy i am bringing you that new series of which game mode will bring you to level 50 the fastest sorry i'm also talking so fast like a 15 year old girl on speed you know one of the ones who talk like 50 million miles a second you know like <laughs> yeah that kind of girl now sorry uh i just i'm trying to get to the story as quick as possible i got a couple good couple good stories for you and uh just want to get it out to you guys. Uh, I, I've done this uh, commentary a couple times, and I, I've always um, uh, run out of time. So, with that, um, the one thing I want um, uh, feedback from you guys is um, on search. Uh, if you die, it'll stay on your body. Do you want me to cut to my next life like I did right there, or do you want me to cut to another teammate? Um, I could do either. The only problem is if I do, uh, if I cut to a new teammate, I only will have one game of search in the video for you. This game, I actually have two games of uh, Search and Destroy for you at different times. This one on Nuketown, which is my first ever game, and the second one is uh, probably midway through. I'm level like 33 or something like that at the time. Um, so uh, let me know what you guys want. Do you want me to cut to a teammate, or do you want me to just cut to my uh, my, my my next life? Um, and hopefully I'll have some videos where I, I don't die at all, like uh, maybe in the next one. I don't know. Uh, we shall see. So on to these stories, okay? So um, the stories I want to talk to you about, about tonight are situations that happened to me when I used to work at my second job at Menards. And what I did there was I worked undercover security catching shoplifters and man oh man i have like a hundred story for you guys i used to catch like a shoplifter a day and i, I this was my favorite job because you never know what you're gonna get um so the first story i want to talk to you guys about is um and uh, also a helpful tip for you guys out there who do work security is watch old people okay they shoplift like no other i i think i've caught like uh, like more than half of my shoplifters were ages 50 and above. Okay. Old motherfuckers. Um, so yeah, I caught, uh, a, a Lieutenant firefighter. That's right. He was a firefighter and he was a Lieutenant. He was shoplifting. I couldn't believe it. When I asked for his ID, he pulled out his wallet and right on the uh, inside of the wallet was his badge saying he was a firefighter. And I'm like, what the hell are you doing shoplifting? He's like, I don't know. I don't know what was going through my mind. I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm like, well, okay, I'm not going to call the cops because, like, he stole, like, a $40 drill bit. Yeah, I, I, it was, like, made of diamonds or something. I don't know. But it was, like, 40 bucks. And I was like, I, I'm supposed to call the cops. And he's like, oh, please don't call the cops. Like, he would lose his job if I called the cops on him. I'm like, well, I'm not going to do that to you. But, uh, yeah, how about you not shoplift anymore? And this dude had, like, a family. He had, like, kids and a wife and something. Like, you were basically trying to screw over your job for a $40, you know, I know people are on hard times, but 40 bucks? No, come on, man, you know, think about it. So, uh, uh, I caught this old dude, and <laughs> when I say old dude, this dude was like 65 years old, okay? He was in a wheelchair. He was in one of those uh, motorized wheelchairs, you know, the ones with the little lever on the, the right side, and you could, you know, spin around and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. He stole three dollars worth of washers. I was walking up and down the aisles, just you know, minding my own business. Really, I, usually when I'm walking the floor, I'm not actually looking at people like trying to shoplift. I'm just walking just to stretch my legs and not try and catch people because I, I never ever caught anybody on the floor. This is the only dude I ever caught while I was on the floor. I was more of a camera guy. I could watch you know like four or five cameras at a time, and I knew all the camera angles and all that kind of stuff because they moved too. It was pretty cool. Um, he was the only dude I ever caught like uh, while I was walking the floor shoplifting. He took a handful of washers, and not like you know one of those big washers where you put clothes and stuff. No, these are the little washers you put on right before you screw in the nut, okay? He took a handful and put them in his pocket. 
I couldn't believe it. I was like, are you kidding me? So I pulled him into the room, and he's hooping and hollering for the manager. And the manager's like, what do you want to do? I was like, you know, just let him go, whatever. You know, I'm thinking of my grandpa, you know, like, would my, you know, my grandpa ever steal, you know, any, you know, old people I know kind of thing. So I was like, yeah, just let him go or whatever. Um, but the, the funny story I got for you guys is the time I had to, um, basically stop a Jehovah's Witness. Okay. So let me, let me give you this story. I'm watching this homeless dude and, you know, he's homeless. He's grungy and dirty and all that kind of stuff. I'm watching him and he's walking down one of this main aisle and, out pops this big fat mother lover, okay? This dude was like 350. He was a whale of a man, like a nutty professor big, okay? Like just massive. He pops his freaking head out of the aisle and hands this dude a freaking uh, pamphlet or something like that. And at Menards, you, you can't pass out business cards, pamphlets. Girl Scouts can't even like sell cookies outside the store. Like they don't do that at all, okay? Um, so I stopped watching the, uh, the homeless dude. I started watching this dude and like a minute later he pops out again. Someone's passing him and he passes out, uh, he passes out another pamphlet. So I track that person down. I'm like, Hey, can I have that pamphlet the guy gave you? And the woman's like, yeah, sure. Here, here you go. I was going to throw it away. So I grabbed the pamphlet and on the front is, uh, is, is, uh, written saying, uh, why Christians when they die? Why or no? It's uh, why most Christians, when they die, are going to hell. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So I go grab the manager, show him what it is. I'm like, you want this guy, you know, to stop doing this, right? And the manager like, yeah, please. And I'm like, all right, let's go down there and tell the guy, uh, you know. And I already had a feeling this guy's going to be a dick, okay? Um, so that's why I'm bringing the manager along along with me. Usually, I just bring, you know myself and deal with it but no this guy's gonna be a dick so i'm gonna get the manager and the manager be like okay you're out of the store or, you know this is my story you'd listen to me kind of thing so we confront the guy and i you know i tell him like sir you know you can't pass these out here um can you please stop doing it and you know you're gonna have a nice day and he takes off his glasses he's like well you know what sonny i'm gonna do whatever the fuck i feel like doing and i'm just like oh all right I'm like, how about we just, you know, take you out of the store? He's like, well, I'm not going to buy these. I'm like, and he had like 20 bucks worth of stuff in this cart. I'm like, fine, whatever. We don't care. Get the fuck out of the store. And all of a sudden, his two apostles or whatever he called them freaking come up behind me and shit. And, uh, they're like, they're like, uh, priest or I, I forget what the hell they called them, but he's, they're like, uh, you know, is this guy bothering you? And I was like, who the, you know, fuck are you? And I'm like waving at the off duty officer at the time, um, to like come and help us. Um, and, uh, Menards, they had the undercover security, which is me. And then they had an off duty police officer at the door. Um, you know, and they're supposed to help us, you know, with any kind of confrontational things like these. Well, this guy was just on the job. He sees me in plain clothes. The manager's walking away from the situation because he's a pussy, and he doesn't want to deal with it. Um, and so the off-duty officer just stay, stands there and freaking does nothing. So I got into a fight. Yeah, that's the end of the story. Um, I won. The end. Till next time, guys. Later.